um, yeah, I believe that term today. The ethics, the ethics law states that they have to have it in 10 days prior to being tenured. <coughs> <clears throat> I was mistaken. I do not have the provision for it. The problem yet. What is that? Motion to DJ Pension. I'll second the motion. <clears throat> yeah, the one April. Under the ethics they, law, they must be filed 10 days prior to approval or appointment. Mr. Cray? Um, at this time, no. I do not have a family pension for this. Mr. Eskin? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Trax? Yes. <coughs> uh, number three, to re 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 appoint George Powell with a three year term to expire 12 31 2024. I'll second that motion for George Paul three year term. Do we have a financial interest letter for Mr. Paul? Not yet, ma'am. I just mailed him out in the, about the third week in January. I just wanted to verify. <coughs> Mr. Trax? Yes. Mr. Eskin? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Cray? At this time, no. Public comments? Okay. Guys, I'm driving sorry. Oh, yes. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Uh, remarks, supervisors, and staff? Um, I want it for the record that it was not, uh, th the last meeting, the secretary apologized for not having the appointments for the reward. I want to make it for the record that it wasn't the secretary's job to do so. That is the um, responsibility of the Zoning Hearing Board Chairman to make sure to notify the Township of any vacancies on that board. And so I felt kind of bad that she apologized about that because um, it wasn't her responsibility to do so. Um, I'd also like to say for the record that the la that under the MPC, the Municipal Planning Code, that no member of the Zoning Hearing Board can be appointed or employed by the Township in any other way which didn't happen the last three years. The last three years, there was somebody on that board that was also on other boards in the community. And I am at a concern because one of the members of the board um, will have to vacate his seat if he chooses employment here. So I'd like that for the record that that would, he'd have to. Who is it? Well, Mr. Pynchon put his name in for employment. So. If he chose to be employed, I thought that's all his name. And he was not offered employment. <coughs> not offered, no. But I think that's an application. I just want to make it aware that if anybody gets hired or appointed on any other board or hired by the community, he'll have to let go of that seat. Thank you. Duly noted. Okay. Any adjourn? To all the items, a couple of questions. Larry Spar, 181 McShane Road, Finleyville, PA. What was the purpose? Why was it necessary to hold this meeting? If, if we were following the MPC and the, uh, 
requirements for zoning hearing board appointee every year there is one member seat that becomes vacant and must be considered for reappointment or someone else to fill that seat. Why are we doing this tonight? If in prior years we had a proper rotation of members of the board. The problem we had was the proper rotation was never documented pre-board of us. When we came on there was no documentation of sewer, there was no documentation of any ending terms or anything along that line. So I admit we didn't document the zoning hearing board. Completely not a problem. This gets us up to par. Well does that mean then that when the zoning hearing board had to convene in prior recent years if there was no evidence of anybody being appointed how were those hearings conducted legally? I would ask you the same thing on the prior boards when certain people were on here also and there was no documentation on that. Shorty I can speak for myself. When I sat on the board we made those appointments a matter of minutes definitely because at times there was confusion when we had to fill vacancies for a partial term and there was discussion concerning that. Once a determination was made those determinations became part of the minutes. Yes and that's where this got missed in our minutes. Not that it wasn't done. We just didn't document it in the minutes. I understand that. You might have a question as I said that the zoning hearing board had convened to consider various situations pertaining to it that may not be legal. I thank you. So George Powell was appointed for three years? Yes sir. And Mr. Fincham for three years? No two. We have Derek one, Mr. Fincham two, and George at three. Yes sir. So a proper rotation could have followed. Thanks George. You're welcome. Just to clarify for you Mr. Spark, Mr. Fincham was originally appointed to finish out the term of a Mrs. Garrity or a Shanna Garrity. When her term was up. Well I mean but still he fulfilled her term. He was appointed on October 28th of 2020 to finish her term. When her term was over the zoning hearing board never notified apparently I'm assuming never notified the township that his appointment was due and so on. I couldn't find that the last four or five years of meeting minutes during during reorgs had appointed anybody but Mr. Garrity to get his term. And it is the responsibility of that board to notify the township of upcoming appointments and vacancies. Well would you say it's quite possible that this a zoning hearing board be convened with residents, people who weren't authoritatively appointed to this board in conducting quasi judicial hearings which are rather weighty for this township without appropriate authority? I believe it's it may be possible. I may be. All right. Thank you. Anybody else? Chaplain Dare, 6186.